Welcome to the world of timeless family sitcoms with the Donna Reed Show airing in 1958. This classic series revolves around the Stone family, led by the charming Donna Reed herself. Now, buckle up because we've got some amusing, shocking, and even heart-wrenching facts about the show coming your way, so don't touch that dial. Ever wondered about lesser-known anecdotes that add a fascinating layer to this iconic series? The Donna Reed Show has its fair share of behind-the-scenes tales that might just leave you in stitches or astonishment. But wait, there's more. Have you ever had a moment in your life when this show played a surprising role? Share your stories with us, and here's the kicker we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic family sitcom? Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. We're all ears, waiting to relish the nostalgia with you. So if you're ready for a trip down memory lane, keep those anecdotes and personal tales coming. The Donna Reed Show is more than just a TV series, it's a journey through laughter, tears, and everything in between. Stay tuned for more, and remember, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Happy reminiscing! The Donna Reed Show stands as a timeless gem of television excellence. Set in the late 1950s and early 1960s, this iconic series has endured through the years, captivating audiences with heartwarming narratives and unforgettable characters. As viewers delve into the world of the Stone family, they are transported to a simpler time where family values, love, and laughter reign supreme. Donna Reed, portraying the titular character, radiates grace, charm, and warmth, setting an example as the quintessential TV mom. The chemistry between her and on-screen husband, Dr. Alex Stone, portrayed by Carl Betts, is nothing short of magical. Their genuine love and unwavering support serve as a beacon of hope, emphasizing the power of a loving partnership. The series excels in character development. Mary, portrayed by Shelley Fabre, and Jeff, played by Paul Peterson, stand out as relatable and endearing TV siblings. Their journey through adolescence, filled with ups and downs, resonates with audiences, making them two of the most beloved characters in television history. The writing is noteworthy, with episodes brimming with humor, wit, and heartfelt life lessons that remain relevant today. Whether addressing the challenges of parenting, school, or friendships, the show consistently delivers valuable insights while ensuring entertainment from start to finish. The memorable supporting cast, including Donna's best friend Midge and the lovably bumbling next-door neighbor Mr. Scott, adds unique charm to the series, creating a rich tapestry of personalities. Visually, it's a treat. The meticulous set designs, costumes, and attention to detail transport viewers to the 1950s and 1960s, providing a nostalgic backdrop that enhances the show's timeless appeal. In today's fast-paced world, it offers a comforting and heartwarming escape, reminding us of the enduring power of love, family, and community. In conclusion, it's more than just a TV series. It's a cherished part of American culture that highlights the beauty of family bonds and the importance of kindness and understanding. Whether revisiting it or discovering it for the first time, this timeless gem captures the heart and leaves audiences with a warm smile. Don't miss out on the opportunity to experience the magic. It truly is a television classic deserving of the praise it has received over the years. In its early years, scenes set in supermarkets on the Donna Reed show prominently featured products from the series' sponsors. Campbell's Soup, V8 Juice, Franco-American Canned Goods, and various Johnson & Johnson products, including baby powder, were showcased during these moments. Interestingly, the first season opening credits of another popular show, The Munsters, parodied its opening sequence. In both, the mother lovingly passes out lunches to her departing family members as they leave the house one by one. Yvonne DiCarlo, playing Lily Munster, replicated this sequence in a humorous homage a notable aspect of the show is its distinction as the first family-oriented sitcom of the 1950s and early 60s to focus on the mother as the central character. This departure from the prevailing trend added a fresh dynamic to the genre. The series broke ground by featuring the mother, played by Donna Reed, as the focal point, providing a unique perspective on family dynamics. This departure from the norm set the stage for future family-oriented sitcoms. In summary, early supermarket scenes integrated sponsor products, the opening credits inspired a parody in The Munsters, and the show revolutionized family sitcoms by placing the mother at its core. Revel in the quirks of the Donna Reed Show, a classic family sitcom from the late 1950s. 
in a delightful twist of fate, Jimmy Hawkins, a familiar face from It's a Wonderful Life, transitioned from portraying Donna Reed's son to becoming Mary's steadfast boyfriend on the show. Across the series' eight-year span, the opening credits showcased Carl Betts as Alex Stone, the family's pediatrician. However, the intriguing tidbit lies in his departure scenes. Clad in a business suit and clutching a briefcase, he appears to head off to work. The catch? Dr. Stone ran his practice from home in a white lab coat, and it was only on hospital duty days that he donned the suit and briefcase. Dr. Alex Stone, portrayed by Carl Betts, secured the 16th spot in TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Dads of All Time. A noteworthy recognition for a character that added depth and a unique perspective to the family sitcom landscape. So, immerse yourself in the amusing paradoxes of the Donna Reed show and appreciate the subtle nuances that made it a standout in the realm of classic television. Donna Reed, along with her then-husband Tony Owens production company, Totone of California, took on an uncredited producer role for the series. The living room set became a TV icon, making appearances in I Dream of Jeannie, Dennis the Menace, and Hazel. Interestingly, Carl Betts, who played Dr. Alex Stone, previously portrayed a physician in the first season of Perry Mason. This role precedes his notable tenure on The Donna Reed Show. Before landing the role of Dr. Alex Stone, Carl Betts had a stint as a physician in the first season of Perry Mason, specifically in the episode titled The Case of the Sun Bather's Diary. The living room set, a familiar backdrop for Donna Reed's family, found new life in other popular shows, showcasing its versatility across the television landscape. A unique connection emerges as Major Nelson's living room in I Dream of Jeannie and the Mitchell's living room in Dennis the Menace share the same stage. The Donna Reed show's impact extends beyond its own narrative, leaving a lasting mark on TV history. The subtle connections and shared set spaces demonstrate the interconnected nature of classic television productions. Carl Betts's journey from a Perry Mason physician to Dr. Alex Stone exemplifies the versatility of actors in that era, showcasing their ability to seamlessly transition between roles. This behind-the-scenes insight into the Donna Reed show enriches our understanding of the series' production and its enduring influence on subsequent television programs. The uncredited production efforts of Donna Reed and Tony Owens' company, coupled with the set's reappearances, unveil a dynamic facet of television history that goes beyond the on-screen family dynamics. Amidst the wholesome charm of the Donna Reed show, a somber note lingers. In an unexpected turn, one of the show's main characters, Dr. Alex Stone, played by Carl Betts, met his fictional demise off-screen. His departure scenes, where he's seen clad in a business suit heading off to work, take an ironic twist. Dr. Stone, a pediatrician who typically operated from home in a white lab coat, breaks the norm on his last day. This paradox adds an intriguing layer to the show, showcasing the complexities that can unfold even in the seemingly straightforward world of family sitcoms. This departure from the norm takes a poignant turn when considering that Dr. Alex Stone secured the 16th spot in TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Dads of All Time. A character that brought depth and a unique perspective to the family sitcom landscape met a scripted end that left a void in the hearts of viewers. The recognition he received posthumously stands as a testament to the impact his character had on the audience, making his departure a truly unexpected and tragic turn of events in the show's narrative. The Donna Reed Show, known for its heartwarming tales and relatable family dynamics, took a daring step by incorporating a departure that mirrored the paradoxes of real life. Dr. Alex Stone's unexpected fate adds a layer of melancholy to the series, reminding us that even in the realm of classic television, the unexpected can unfold. This unforeseen twist contributes to the show's dynamic storytelling, leaving an indelible mark on its legacy. As we unravel the layers of the Donna Reed show, the unexpected departure of Dr. Alex Stone serves as a poignant reminder that even in the seemingly idyllic world of family sitcoms, moments of sadness and tragedy can weave into the narrative, creating a multifaceted viewing experience.